behalf. Thanks for the moment, Norman. Robbie, I wonder, do, do you believe uh, Mr Cameron when he says people who vote against, who will vote against airstrikes in Syria are terrorist sympathisers, or will you believe what he says in half an hour when he gets up and says, I respect those who are against military action? Uh, I don't think I'll respect uh, either of them, because I think there's MPs voting against military action, like West Shooting, who are clearly not terrorist sympathisers, who have decided they simply just can't vote for it. And I think it was actually a massive blunder by David Cameron, because I think a lot of Labour people who were slithering, who were saying, well, there's genocide on the ground in Iraq, how are we going to deal with that, are going to feel, you know, that David Cameron is you know, being bombastic here and has severely harmed his case. Who's your MP and what do you want them to do? Uh, my MP is Ian Murray, he'll be voting against, but I want him to vote for. Because I think as much as there's very good points about stopping ISIS funding, which we should do, how do we deal with the actual genocide and crimes against humanity going on in Iraq? And I feel the only way we can do that is through bombing. And somewhat to try and uh, you know, assuage the doubts of uh, people against it. Our current bombing campaign in Iraq has had zero civilian casualties. The RAF are known throughout NATO for having incredibly precise precision strikes. And we should be proud of not only our RAF for doing that, but we should see that actually we will minimise casualties by having RAF involvement because they are so specialised in that field. So I feel that would be a wise intervention. Okay, Aisha in Surrey, 